Hey, it's Jack Gately from Jack Gately Real Estate and the Online Real Estate Academy. You may have heard about this thing called Chat GPT, and you're like, what is that? It's artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence. And I had this idea to find out whether or not artificial intelligence could pass the real estate exam. Where did I get that idea? Well, just a couple of days ago, a Wharton professor at Wharton Business School uh, challenged Chat GPT. Let's see if I get the name right. It's so new, like it doesn't roll off the tongue quite yet. If it could pass the MBA exam. And this, this story has been like on every website across the world. Because basically, even though the Chat GPT made some basic mistakes, it did pass the MBA exam by this Wharton professor, got like a B. So I was like, hmm, maybe uh, it should be able to pass the real estate exam. So let's go take a look. Okay, so we are now logged into Chat GPT, and I am going to take and paste one of my known sample questions that I provide to my students uh, into the chat box. And I'm going to hit enter. And there's a question up there, licensee sells. Oh boy, they're already starting. Let me move my picture out of the way. They're already starting to answer the question uh, before I can even finish reading it. And let's see how they do with the answer. Uh, they're actually explaining the steps. You can see how it's going in there, explaining the steps, finally divide the, oh my God. It, like, I can't even think this fast. Um, uh, I don't know if that's right. I'm gonna have to go check the answer. Well, let's go back to the question first. A licensee sells five six of an acre for $28,000 and receives a 6% commission. If she splits her broker 50-50, what did she receive per square foot? Let me go check the answer. Chat GPT actually got this wrong, which is kind of weird because I, I sent this into the system and to Chat GPT like yesterday and it got it right, but today it gets it wrong. That's wild. Uh, they answered 75 cents per square foot, and the actual answer is 2.3 cents per square foot. I don't know how they got that wrong. Got it right yesterday. That's weird. Maybe the Wharton professor was right when he said it makes some really weird mistakes. In this case here, uh, they forgot to factor in what the seller made. Uh, the mistake is in this line, or at least the mistake starts in this line. Then subtract the broker's share from the total sales price to find the licensee share. And they subtract $28,000 minus $840, therefore thinking that the licensee made $27,160. That is just not true. And the licensee only made $840. So, um, yeah, totally wrong on that one. Let's try another one. So, once again, we're going to type in uh, or paste in a question, different math question. And this is about the Grandersons and how much the cost of the property will be. Uh, it's factoring it right now as we speak, like really in live time. Uh, by the way, you cannot access this tool when you take the exam. You take the exam either at an exam center and there's like all sorts of cameras everywhere. And you can also now take it online. But online, I think the scrutiny is even tougher. Uh, you can't even get up from your chair. You certainly won't be able to, and they can see everything that you're doing on your computer. Uh, the scrutiny online might even be tougher than at the exams. I don't know, but it's pretty stru It's pretty strict. And here they got the answer right. The Granderson's property will cost 370170 We won't get into the details of this particular question, but uh, they justified it and they spit it out pretty, pretty simple here. Let's look at a non-math question. All right, we got a question about zoning. Let's pop it in here. There's four options. The basic intent of zoning ordinances is to specify usage for every parcel within the zoning authority's jurisdiction. Answer C. Bingo. Okay, this one here is about licensing. A licensed salesperson may only work for a single employing broker who has an active broker's license. Bingo, again. So that was very impressive. Uh, we asked it four questions. It got three out of the four right. And it did get that first question right yesterday. So why did it get it wrong today? I don't know. But three out of four is what percentage, kids? 75%. And what do you need to pass the real estate exam? 70%. So basically, this thing could pass the real estate exam.
especially the math questions, which people tend to have the most difficulty with. Uh, and I got um, 50% of the math, even though, you know, the day before. I, anyways, uh, give it another six months and it'll be even smarter, right? And uh, right, this gets real scary real quick. Uh, ever see those Boston Scientific uh, videos with the robots jumping, you know, stuff? This is kind of like the mind of the, uh, you get where I'm going, like, woo, this is, this gets real scary real quick. Uh, but it's very interesting. I advise you to check it out. And it very well may be smarter than your average uh, examination candidate. All right, I'm Jack Gately from Jack Gately Real Estate. I hope not. And the Online Real Estate Academy. Have a great day. Bye-bye.